Hey guys, what's up? This is Yu-Gi-Oh! KG here, and um, uh, <laughs> as you can tell from the title of this video and what you're looking at right now, I'm here to show you guys how I made my Lightsworn characters in my Soul Calibur vs. Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, video with featuring my Lightsworn characters. Um, I had a couple people ask me how I made them and like to send the formulas, and it would just take forever to send all the formulas and stuff like that to every person that asked. So, I decided to make a video, a tutorial, or how-to, I guess. Not really how-to or, or anything. I'm just going to show you their, like, uh, stats and stuff and what I put on and the axes, numbers, and all that good stuff and the coloring and just every good thing that you can think of. Um, but before I get started, some side notes. The uh, Lightsworn characters that you're looking at now, the eight of them right here, they are not the ones that were featured in my Yu-Gi-Oh! Soul Calibur vs. Yu-Gi-Oh! video because after I got done with that video, I, I don't know, like a few weeks later, I ended up deleting them for eight slots of other random characters. And it was stupid because I was like, why did I do that? Oh, they were so good. I liked them. So I decided to remake them again just to make this uh, tutorial how-to video. But this time, these guys are a little bit different. My old lights weren't characters were just really poorly done, I think. I mean, I could have done better with them, and I did in this uh, video right here. I've done way better because in my other one, I just threw random stickers on them, and I just put random stuff on them, and it, it really did not even like look like the cards at all. Um, whew, sorry, excuse me. It's four in the morning, and I'm doing this. Um, anyways, so these lights one characters are my new and improved ones. The old ones, I guess you could follow the video if you want to. Uh, so yeah, I just had a few changes, and let's get into it, because I don't want to take any more time with a two-minute intro. So, um, oops, wrong thing. <laughs> um, so we'll start with, uh, Arcus. As our first person. And before I, uh, get started, I'll just give you, like, a 360 view of him. So you can see that he's changed from the first time you guys saw him in the video. Alright. So let's get on with the body. I'll try to go over everything. So the body, the height's 3, body type normal. And I, everything's at negative 12. And the muscle mass is 2. I don't know why it's at 2. You can't even see his muscles, but whatever. It was just the default. Face, I put face number 2. And this tutorial how to, you can change anything you like. Like if you don't like how, I, I guess, the face looks or how anything works, you can change it. Trust me, you don't have to follow this down to the script. <laughs> and for the hair, short rage. Be a nice six, 360 view of that. The eyebrows, I just did eyebrows number two. And the voice, I did veteran knights. Pitch is zero, tone is negative five, and all of the lights one characters have no manifestation levels, so you don't have to worry about that. Alright, uh, like, like I said, if you don't like the voice for Arcus, you can totally change it. Um, you don't have to keep that voice. I just thought it was the more fitting one for him. I don't know, I just thought it was the best one. And now for the equipment, for the undergarments, we have a sleeveless top, which is that white area in there, right below the necklace. For the body equipment, we have the Baihu coat, because that honestly is like the best coat in the game for him, I guess. <laughs> um, lower body equipment is the tuxedo pants, and the tuxedo pants are a DLC costume pack. It's the wedding costume pack or something like that, I can't remember. If you do not have these... I don't fret because you can end up using like um, the slacks up here. I'm pretty sure that'll work too. I had, I haven't used them, but I'm pretty sure it'll work. I mean, they're almost the same thing. Oh, and um, as for the certain items, I have no idea what level you have to be to get certain clothing in this game. I just played it so much that I just eventually unlocked everything, so I have no idea what levels you have to be. I would Google it. That's your best friend. Um, so continuing on, we have the neck and back equipment, the brass choker. And for the arm equipment, we have rocker's gloves. I was tempted to use the outlaw gloves, which are a character DLC, like like Soul Calibur character DLC. It's from Zvi. I was tempted to use these, but I don't like the whole opening they have. Like, I don't like that. So I just ended up using these because Arcus, like Arcus's, I don't, that doesn't even sound right. Arcus's gloves in the card picture, he has like these, um, white things on his knuckles, I, I guess white stone things, I don't know. And these gloves do not have that, so yeah, that was a problem. So I said, you know what, screw it, you'll... Um, wow, that was really awkward, I'm not saying that again. 
So the shoulder equipment, I have uh, Warlords, Pauldrons, and I think like four of my Lightsworn characters have these Pauldrons because they're just so good. They work so well. They look so cool. Like, they look like Lightsworn Pauldrons. <laughs> Alright, no ankle equipment for the feet. Um, you really can't tell what he has in his card picture. All you can see is a gold cuff. Like where his boots, I guess, would start at the top. So I just threw on some Justice boots, and Justice boots are out of the Soul Calibur character DLC. They're Patroclus's boots, so if you do not want to buy that, I'm pretty sure you can like get something to replace it. I mean, you could probably use the Engineer long boots. Um, just like work around with stuff, cuff boots up here. Just work around with the coloring and stuff. Like you don't have to copy everything that I do if you don't have it, because I know how troublesome that can be to buy DLC outfits and stuff um for arcus we only have one specialized equipment and if you look on the card my old arcus never had this so i looked on the card and i said you know what i'm gonna put it on so basically it's i don't even know what this thing is called what was this oh yeah helmet ornament hero and basically there's like this blue metal plate thing on his chest in the card picture and this was the closest thing i could find to put there so i decided to use this it's not the best as you can tell by the coloring it looks like i just spray painted like one streak like across and that was it it's very hard to get the coloring right for this because this thing is only one color when you do the coloration and i'll show you later on this part of arcus but anyways it's on the chest and here are all the um, axes numbers for this to get it almost in the middle of his chest and yeah that's it and that's all the um, equipment for him. Now for the weapon style, I use Devil Jin again because in his card picture he has a book. And I go by the card pictures to decipher what weapon I want to use for my uh, Light Sworn characters. Um, he has Devil Jin because I have no idea what to give him for the book. I mean, I, I, I could have went for Viola, but that's too feminine and Lumina already has that, so yeah. And as for the pack, I put Angel Pack because they're Light Sworns, you know, so it fits real well. Now for the colors. The skin color. And I can just put the stats up and you guys can see it. Uh, undergarment colors do not matter because it's under all of his clothing. All of his clothing. Jeez, I can't talk. Unless his clothes break or something. There you go. <laughs> um, I never do the hair, facial hair, and eyebrow coloration at the same time. I do it separately, so the hair color... And no face paint. And the eyebrow color. And eye color. I have no idea what some of the Light Sworn cards eye colors are because it's very hard to see. So I just kind of guessed and threw my own favorites out there. And this is just the default white that comes with the eyes. Now for the equipment. This is the undergarment, which is right below the necklace right there. <coughs> and this is the um, Baihu coat. This is the first block. And this is like the inside of the Baihu coat. I like how it lights up too so you guys can see which part it's talking about. This is the gold trim. And these are the, um, oh I didn't mean to do that, it's 1011, sorry I didn't mean to do that. And these are the strings or whatever, the stuff on the front. And here are the pants. Okay. And the necklace, or the choker thing, <laughs> whatever that thing is, a choker. And these are the gloves down here. Notice that they're not all the way black because there is some kind of blue tint in the card. I mean, you got, I guess you can make them all black, you really can't tell. And this is the Warlord Pauldrons. Okay, now we get into the we're getting to the boots. So this is the main color of the boots. And here is the hardest part about Arcus. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. All right, so the pattern you want to work with, you can work with any pattern you want. The one I found the most easy for me was basic number one. You're you're going to have to play around with the sizing and angle because it does not show numbers, unfortunately. But um, let me show you the colors first, in case you want to do it this method. I'm pretty sure it's an easier method to get the blue in the middle and the gold trim around, but 
it was just not working for me and here's the size and the angle ticks um, like I said unfortunately there's no numbers so I can't exactly tell you what it is but here's all the other stuff but yeah if you can find a different pattern that works even well I mean that'd be awesome because I don't know I might go back and change it that pattern's not really working I mean it doesn't look too bad but it could be better you know and here we have the stickers okay my old Arcus never had these um, stickers on him I don't even think he had stickers at all like on him he didn't even have that metal plate in the middle I remember that he did not have that um, but basically on the card of Arcus you can faintly see some like three rings on one side of his coat and I'm, I'm assuming that they're the same on the other side because that would be kind of weird if they're not but um, unfortunately Soul Calibur only gave us four uh, sticker slots for each body equipment so I can only put two rings on each side and I think they look really well better than before but I will show you guys the stickers this is the first one I think it's the top one right here on this side um, they're all the same color so and they're all the same size and everything unfortunately there's no axis numbers so I can't really show you like how to put them on or anything you just gotta go by judgment like you gotta make them symmetrical like that alright so it's on the upper body and here are the um, ticks right here I'm sorry that there's no numbers but I mean if you can get as close as you can to these ticks then you should be okay like I said all you have to do is just really just think of it as symmetry you know alright so let's zoom out I think that's the only stickers we had yep that's the only thing okay I gotta make sure alright <laughs> I have to make sure okay and now if, for the weapon color I don't know I just did a random pale pink it doesn't really matter what you do it's your it's your thing you know and that's basically Arcus there's everything about Arcus right there so gosh that took like 12 minutes just to do one character this is gonna be a very long video I'm just letting you guys know that now if you want every single detail it's gonna be very long um, I might make annotations to skip to your f character that you want if you don't want to make all of them but let's get on with Celestia we're burning time <laughs> Alright, so Celestia, I think, was by far the most complicated one to do. Not complicated, but more detailed one to do. Um, so, this is Celestia. I'm going to give you a 360 view. And that's a 360 view. Alright, let's start from the top. Body height is number four. Um, I put her a little bit taller than... I guess most of them because I always figured her to be very tall since she, since she is oh my gosh that was a tongue twister since she is um, a light sworn angel so I always thought like I don't know she'd be a little bit taller I don't know she looks really tall in the pic so that's that uh, face I did number four and I did the long braid for her hair Let me zoom out a little bit so it looks like that and eyebrows number 10 you really can't see her eyebrows but you know they're there so and the voice I did veteran night and the pitch was positive 25 and the tone was zero all right now the equipment all right the equipment the head equipment I used the Valkyrie helm and you can only get this helmet with a Valkyrie costume pack if you do not have the Valkyrie costume pack you will not be able to get this helmet and trust me there's no other replacements for this that'll make it even look close to this this is the best Celestia helmet in the game I mean, it's like the only one in the game, really, with the wings and stuff. Um, you could use the Absolution Mask, but that's a costume DLC also, and it covers her face, so it doesn't even, like, it doesn't work that well, because Celestia doesn't have her face covered. Um, so yeah, I thought this was the best helmet. Um, for the undergarments, I put a mini dress on, because as you can see, like, right in there... Uh, the dress is showing through, and if I didn't have the dress on, she would be, like, exposed there, I guess. So I have the dress on underneath there to kind of hide that. And the upper body covering, I have the breastplate on. Right there, thought it was the best one. The hip equipment, I have a paro because it looks like she has an opening dress, like a, a slit in an open dress. So I thought like, hey, slap that thing on, you know? It looks awesome. I, th I thought it was like, awesome looking, the best thing. I don't like the tie right there though, it kind of kills it, but what are you going to do? You know, beggars can't be choosers. And the back equipment, of course, have to be the angel wings. I mean, you can't have Celestia without angel wings. Um, the arm equipment is the Long Pao Howlin. I'm sorry if I'm mispronunciating all of these. I have no idea how to pronounce these, so. 
and shoulder plates for the sh I mean yeah shoulder plates for the shoulder equipment give you some kind of view on that and I don't know why I put thigh high ankle equipment on her you can't even see it but that's what my old Celestia used to wear I did redo her um, boots because I used to have um, so I okay let me start over I did the honor boots for her I used to have the aristocrat boots until I saw the picture closely and I was like wait a minute these don't look really close to the picture actually it looks like she wears something more like this judging by the picture but I don't like that it looks bulky it does not look like angel type so I gave her honor boots instead because I think they look the best I really do I think they're the best looking and I don't know how, I have no more to say about that um all of the special equipments are used for one we have feathers of strength which is right in the middle because on the card you can see she has some kind of belt thing or whatever gold plate belt thing right there so I use the feathers of strength and they're on the hips and I'll show you all the axis numbers for that and that's that and I noticed um, else on the card that she had these kind of like chains going on her sides like this like you can see the chains right there they're not really chains they were kind of like I don't know what they were they look like chain like so I said you know what I could do that like I could I don't know mess around with that so I did I actually put chains on her my old Celestia did not have the um, the belt gold plate thing and she did not have the chains on her so I said you know what I can mess with that so this is on the thigh the right side and here are all of the um, numbers and it should be symmetrical on the left I'm pretty sure it should be like the same axis numbers but backwards so that's that that's all of her equipment and now for the weapon and style for the weapon style I used Elysium because I just like I love the fact that Elysium comes in like that and it's all it's angelic and I really love that for Celestia the only thing I don't like is that how different weapons are used every time you fight I don't like that I wish I kind of could have mixed um, Elysium with Hilda or something but what are you gonna do you know I do like the um, soul edge that she does that is pretty cool when Celestia does it all right so for the colors and stuff the skin color the undergarment color and the hair color And this is for the um, tie in the back, the ponytail um, tie. I can't even scroll down. I can't scroll down. But um, this is for the tie right there. I don't know if you can see that. It won't let me scroll down. Yeah, it's not letting me move down. Okay, so that's for the tie. And I, I think I have makeup on her. Yeah, I do have makeup. Face paint number one. I remember putting, yeah, of course I have makeup. Duh, she has like lipstick on. And here are the colors for that. And I don't even think that's worth anything. Okay, the eyebrow color. You can't even see it, but it's there. They're there. And the eye color. Like I said, you can play around with the eyes. I thought blue would fit more because she has blue hair. So, let's go with that. Uh, equipment color. This is for the Valkyrie helm. So, sorry if I'm going so fast through this. I just don't want this video to be like an hour long. That's for the wings up there. Okay. This is for the undergarments. Like the um, dress that we talked about earlier. This is for the dress. Sorry, I had to click it. <laughs> this is for the breastplate. And the paro down there. And these are for the angel wings in the back. And the gloves. Yeah, your standard lights worn colors are going to be like this white and this gold right here. Oops, it's 10, 10. I'm sorry, I did not mean to move that down. I did it again. So that's your standard light sworn colors. They're going to be that 10, 10 gold and then the white. But don't count on that because I think some of them are actually different. And this is for the shoulder pads right here. With the shoulder plates, I'm sorry. And this is for the thigh-high stuff that I put on, and I don't, you can, I don't know. 
All right, now we come to the boots. I wish this was a little bit whiter, but this is more like a gray. I kind of wish it was like white, white. But that's as white as I'm going to get that. And that's for that up there, that cuff up there. I don't know if you saw that. See, like, this is 10-6 instead. This light gold out here. And that's for the plate in the middle. And this is for the chains right here. Let me scroll out. Gosh, these controls are so hard. <laughs> Alright, that's for the chains. And the, uh, that's all the colors. So now we're move we move on the stickers. And as you can tell, there is a sticker on her uh, paro. Uh, in the picture, she has this kind of weird... I guess it looks like an Alakazam head. I don't know. It looks like one to me, but... The only thing I could find that would closely resemble that is an upside down spade, is what I used, and the color. And default hip because the pair is on the hip. And here are the ticks for it. I'm sorry, there is no uh, axis numbers for that. I'm very sorry about that. And here's the little red circle I put in the middle of that because it does contain like a red circular thing. And here are the ticks for that. And I believe that's all the stickers. Yes, okay. And there's no weapon trailer or, or anything because she does. She has multiple weapons. So you can't put an angel pack on her, which really sucks. It would have been really awesome. But yeah, so that's um our Celestia. Oh, one more thing before I get out of here. Before I get out of here, because I just realized this. When you do your female light sworns, I don't know if I showed you this either. Everything's an negative 12. Gosh, I don't know. And the muscle mass is zero, of course. I don't know if I showed you guys that, but yeah, this is the base body type. Anyways, what I want to get to is when you do your female light swords, try not to make their breasts so huge because this is why. It looks really awkward. Yeah. <laughs> so try not to make it like really huge. I just keep at the standard uh, default negative 12 because on the cards, they're not gargantuan size because Konami would not allow that. <laughs> they would edit that out real bad so yeah try I mean you can I'm not telling you how to do it but it just looks really awkward so so that's Celestia um next on our list is Jane and before I go into doing Jane um uh, my version I always thought Jane was a guy I don't I know the name sounds like a female and the French version is like Jeanne or something or Gian or I don't even know how to pronounce it I'm, I suck at French but um I always thought of him as a guy. As soon as I started playing Light Swords and seeing them on YouTube, I always thought of Jane as a guy. I know that's weird because it's like, what? Why? It sounds like Jane. Why would that be a guy? But, And I even went on Pojo. They said that in Japan it's a female and over in the US it's a male. So that kind of stuck with me. So you can honestly make your own Jane a female if you prefer. I'm pretty sure it has the same like um, outfit or... Uh, equipment i'm pretty sure it's the same female or male for some of this you don't have to make it the same way i do but this is just how i always thought of jane so and then my lights weren't um creation jane is a male just letting you know so the height is three and it's just all default um body stuff i don't know why that i keep the muscle mass at two it's just the default so i said whatever face i did face number one the hairstyle i did wild short Eyebrows, number 10. And the uh, voice, I just did the normal default young knight because I thought, why not? <laughs> and um, let me give you a 360 view. I don't even think I did that when I first started. So that's a 360 view of him. All right, so equipment. The head equipment is a Bong Xiong circlet. And I know I said that wrong, but yes, a circlet. I swear, it wears a circlet in the card. I'm just going to call it an it. Because I can't, I don't want to claim it's a male and someone's like, no, nah, that's a female. So I'm just going to say it. <laughs> Alright, and um, the undergarments are the Sea King Gambeson, I think that's how you pronounce it. And I think this is only DLC only. I think this costume is part of Cervantes' uh, second costume, I think. So it's DLC only. And the reason why I wear this is because, yeah, that's why right there. So I wear that to kind of cover that up. I'm pretty sure you can use like this if you want to. It doesn't really matter. I just thought that was a little bit cooler looking because it has that kind of leathery kind of look. 
Anyways, um, upper body covering, Magus breastplate, standard, and uh, lower body equipment, the leather pants. It's it should be already unlocked for you. Kind of can't tell, but yeah, leather pants. <laughs> Hip equipment, warrior's belt. Even though that he has no dagger, I just put it there because of the um, siding in the front. And the neck and back equipment is the Lord's mantle because uh, it does wear a cape. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so weird. It. Uh, arm equipment, silver gauntlets. Even though it's supposed to wear gloves on the end, that was just not happening today. So, uh, like I said, Warlord's pauldrons. I love these things. They look so awesome on Lightsworn. So, I love these things. Um, feet equipment, iron greaves. I was gonna do uh, the Lord's Greaves because he does have like the whole thing, like this is what it looks like. He does have that going through the whole bottom, but I saved that for another Light Sworn, so and I didn't want like two Light Sworns wearing the same thing almost. Except for the Warriors or Warlord's Pauldrons. That is an exception. <laughs> Oops. Look, I just it's like I get out of here because I get so excited. Okay. And the only specialized equipment is the helmet ornament hero again. Because if you look at the card, it kind of has like, I can't even explain it. It's some kind of like flat-edged thing, like right in front of his face. I'm not even sure what it's supposed to be, but I mean, obviously it's not going to look like that when you're done. Because it'll look like that. That's just a straight-up pose. But anyways, I'll show you how to locate it. And um, there we go. Uh, it's on the chest. Here are all the axes numbers for this. And this one was only one color, so that was good to work with, so... That was awesome, and that's what it's going to look like. It's just going to chill there, and that's the only specialized equipment I have. So the weapon of style, I use Patroclus because Pyrrha is too girly. Like, her freaking poses are just girly. I guess you could use that if you want to make a female Jane, but I would still use Patroclus because it's more like BA, you know? It's like, yeah, I'm going to kill you. Um, I use the Master Weapon Pack. Uh, I'm pretty, I mean, you can't change the colors of these first two, which kind of sucks. And this is the only good shape that they had for the shield, so I just used the Master's Pack. And the Angel Pack, of course, because Light's Worn, hello. <laughs> Alright, so now for the colors, this is, this is the skin color. Um, the undergarment color, sorry, I skipped right over that. I don't even know why I showed that, it's like, I don't even like, I don't know, I don't know why I showed that. Um, the hair color. And, um, no face paint. Eyebrow color. And then we have the eye color. Like I said, you can mess around with the eye color. I just put blue on because, I don't know, I just did. <laughs> and it's the default white. So, let's get on to the equipment color. Now this is for the circlet. No idea what that jewel's supposed to be, so I just did an oddball color. And this is for the undergarment color. And I don't even know if you can see that color in there. I think it's at the bottom. Um, this is for the plate. Breastplate. Chest plate. Whatever. Um, this is for the pants down below. <laughs> and I don't even know why I just did that. Sorry. It, it's originally this. I don't know why I just clicked that down. Sorry. It's the buttons in there. That's what that is. I didn't even mess with that. This is for the... Um, the waist equipment. Oops. I just go by the colors on the card. That's how I usually go by this. And this is for the um, Lord's Mantle. This is the outside color or the back. And this is the inside color behind him. The red right there. And this is the little button. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that flash, but that's the button. Um, this is the Iron Greaves, or the, um, I don't even know what they're called, but the freaking arm things. <laughs> the arm equipment. And notice how, like, when I do this, only the underside shines brown. That's because I actually went and used a sticker to put the top brown, because they don't come out like that. They come out like whatever this color is right here, see? So, the underside, I use this kind of brown. Because in the picture, the it does have um, brown like gloves, so I said, you know what? I'm just gonna put a sticker on, make my life easier. Right, so these are the pauldrons. 
kind of wish you could change that fur color under there, but I'm not complaining. I love these pauldrons so much when I make lights more, and so I am not complaining. Alright, and these are the uh, iron greaves down here. Let me zoom out a little bit if I knew how to control. So hard doing the camera controls. And that is the specialized equipment up there. Like I said, it only comes in that one standard color. I don't know why they didn't make the middle a different color, but it's whatever. Um, and that's basically the colors for them. Now the stickers. Because you notice I do have um, sticker uh, one sticker on my arm equipment, and it's just one square. It's... I don't know why that happened. Okay. <laughs> it's the... Um, I, I guess that's a good view. I cannot get it any other way. Okay. So it's the uh, Motif 3, it's in the first slot on the top, it's the square. The color for it is right here. And, it's, and I did left arm, I did place by axis, and here are all the ticks for it. Yeah, unfortunately I, I don't even like, I, I don't like know what to say for that. I don't know what to tell you guys for that because I wish it read the uh, numbers too, but unfortunately it doesn't. Um. Weapon trail, I just did yellow because, I don't know, <laughs> because I did. And that's basically your Jane. Like I said, you can probably make it into a female. I'm pretty sure it has the same uh, chest plate and everything. The pauldrons are going to be the same, the uh, shoes, the gloves. The only thing that won't be the same is the Sea King, whatever that undergarment thing is. That's the only thing that will not be for females, so I'm pretty sure you can find something else for that. Next on our list is Wolf, and um, looking back on my old Light Swords, I was like, wow, like, why did I make him into a human human face? Like, a human face with this mask thing on the front, I was like, wow. And I felt real bad because it was really poorly done, so I took uh, commenter's advice and I put, I s just slapped a wolf head on him, you know? I mean, I kind of don't like it because the mouth doesn't move. If it moved, it would be alright. At least don't have it open like that all the time, you know, it kind of looks like he's retarded or something. I shouldn't use that word, but yeah. Um, so I just slapped the wolf head on so everybody would stop yelling at me. And uh, his height is 5. It's a pretty big height. I put, um, I did it a little bit different on the um, the size of the base body type. <coughs> Sorry. Do a little different. Like I put all the arm and chest stuff up 20. Hips are at 0. All this is at zero. Muscle mass is three because we need some kind of abs going on here. I don't want to get it like too much because that's just like, oh my god, you know, so I just left it at three. You could probably do that four, but I left it at three. Um, face, it doesn't even matter. Eyebrows do not matter. This is the voice I did for him, the main bad guy. Pitch is negative five, tone is zero. And that's basically the body. Let's do the equipment. Of course, the head equipment is a wolf head because nobody liked my distorted freaking human head that I did so the hip equipment is the leather wrap I really wish it did not have a leather wrap per se I kinda wished it was more like I don't know like a belt kinda figure like kinda like this but what are you gonna do you know um oh for the undergarments just leave them at zero because you want him in his shorts like that because that actually worked out really well because he wears like these kinda short things so worked out really well Necklace is the Wessick, however you say that. I, I, I don't even know. Uh, the gloves, Warthog gloves. If I can scroll over, I can't even zoom out. There we go. So that's that. Warthog gloves, I don't like the spikes on them, but they were the best things I could think of. They looked the closest. I don't like the spikes, though. Um, warriors or Warlords pauldrons, again, I tell you, I love these things so much. Let's see, uh, Oathbearer Greaves for the feet equipment, and that is a, um, character costume DLC that you're gonna have to get. It's Patroclus' second costume, so, uh, you can use whatever you want. You can't even tell what kind of, like, shoes he's wearing. I just threw that on because, whatever, you know, <laughs> I thought it looked the coolest. And for special equipment, I have a cattail back here behind his head. Not because he's a cat in disguise, but because in the picture he has a kind of ponytail, going in the back of his head so I thought this was the best best thing I could do for that and I know it's not perfect but it's wolf so he doesn't care and I oh no I'm sorry why how could I forget that it's right in front of my face I have chains again kind of like what I did for Celestia I have the chains again 
I'm gonna show you the cat like tail parts real quick because I kind of skipped over that too. What the heck is wrong with me? Okay. All right. Let's zoom in. All right. So it's on the head. And here are the axis numbers. And that's for the cat tail on his head. All right. Now for the chains. Let me try to get down without screwing anything up. Okay, the chains are kind of like Celestia's. They clip onto like his belt, put them on the hips. There should be like another set, but I don't have any more specialized equipment room, which sucks. Soul Calibur needs to give us like infinite. I could go all out on my creations if that there was infinite. And the same thing with these chains. It's just opposite. And that's all for the equipment for him. Now the weapon is style. I did Astaroth because it looks like he has some kind of wielding axe in his picture. And he also looks like he has Wolverine claws, but unfortunately I cannot do that. So, yeah, <laughs> I just gave him, slapped him with an axe. So, I have the master version. I'm pretty sure you can do something else. I thought it looked the coolest, like the most light sworn-ish, I guess. <laughs> it's like gold, silver, whatever. Angel pack because light sworn. Uh, colors. The body color, I did white. The whitest I could get because he is very white. <laughs> and the undergarment colors, because like I said earlier, the shorts have to be green because he does look like he's wearing some kind of green shorts underneath. And hair, facial, eyebrow does not matter. You can't even see his face unless you break his mask. Same thing with face paint color, eyebrow color. Eye color doesn't matter. None of that matters on his head. For the equipment color, I did as white as I can get for the wolf head. That's not really white. That's like gray, but what are you going to do, you know? And, um, this is for the, uh, I forgot what this thing was called. This wrapped leather thing. Belt buckle right there. And this is for underneath. It, you can't tell, but it's supposed to be red. And this is for the Wesket, Wesek, or whatever it is. The necklace thing. There we go. I thought I could scroll up a little bit more. I don't know why I made this part orange. It kind of looked orangey in like his picture. And these are the um, gloves. The gloves that I kind of like but kind of hate at the same time. I do like how they have those bracers up there too. That is pretty cool. And the warrior, po warrior or warlord pauldrons. Oh my gosh, that's very hard to say. And let's see. Oh yes, of course, the um boots. And this should be for the cattail on the back. Which is just the standard all white. These are for the chains. Chains are the same color on each side. And that is the color set for him. I do have um, sticker stickers on him. I have it on his um, wolf head or the head equipment because in the picture he does have a circlet too. So I tried to make this the best I could. It's It wouldn't go under his ears like in the picture. It would not do that. I don't know why. I tried making it enlarged. It would not work. So yeah. I just kept the outer wreath thing out of gold, standard gold, and then the standard red. And here are the, um, I think I just moved that down, wow. <laughs> okay, here are the, um, uh, stats, I guess. I, you can't even, like, read the access numbers. That's so, that's really unfortunate. I don't know why they didn't do it for this, but that's that. And I think that's all the stickers, yes. And the fighting trail, I just did that. I, I don't know. But yes, that is, uh, Wolf. So, I don't know if I gave you 360 in the beginning, but there you go. Next up is Aaron. Aaron was really fun to do because I had all the stuff for her, and it was just really fun to do Aaron. So I'll give you a 360 of her. And as you can see, she's very different from, uh, or not very different, she's a little bit different from the first time I created her. I kind of messed up the first time. So the body, she is um, height number three. Just the default small size, no muscle mass. Face number three. And her hair is the braided type. Eyebrows number 11. 
And the voice, uh, young lady, negative five for both the pitch and tone. Because the first time I made Aaron, her voice, like, I listened to it in my fighting video, and her voice sounded like a robot. It sounded real bad. I don't know where I went wrong with the pitch. I, I don't know, but it sounded really bad, so I had to refix that, so now it's better. Um, head equipment is Marari Hachigain. I don't even know if I said that right, but it's the head equipment. I'm so glad they had this. It was, like, made for her, you know? And the uh, upper body is the general's armor. Same thing with this. This was, like, made for this. <laughs> Chiffon skirt for the um, under equipment or below equipment, I guess you could say. I wish I had a longer version of this because hers is kind of longer in the TCG. It is kind of short in the OCG, so I guess that's okay. <laughs> um, training belt, just to get that gold band around because it looks kind of weird without it. So, And the Wessex again. And I use that particularly a lot too. <laughs> Leather armlets for her gloves. Engineer long boots for her uh, shoes. And uh, special equipment, we have the goggles on her forehead. I'll show you how to do that. So it's on the head. And here are all the stats for it. And feathers of strength. As you could tell, this is a new addition to my new Aaron. Um, she did not have this at first. I like this because on her real picture on the car, there is some kind of like golden uh, tail thing coming out in front of her. So I just use these. These were the closest thing I could get. And it looks pretty decent. I like it. When she does move around a fight, it does go inside of her skirt like the leather belt does, as you can see right there. But um, it looks normal when she's standing normal. So, I mean, I guess it's all okay. <laughs> Now for the weapon style, we have Shiba style, and I messed up on her uh, weapon the first time. I made it red because I used his first one. I used this one, and her staff is not all red. It's gold. I, I believe it's all gold, if I looked at the card correctly, because I did make these all last night at, like, mi like no, not even midnight, 2 in the morning. <laughs> Angel pack, because light's warm. Uh, colors and patterns. Her skin color is a little bit different than all the others. As you can tell, she's a little bit darker. So here you go. The uh, undergarment color, I'm actually going to make this black, I don't know why I left it yellow, but when she fights you can see her shorts, so I'm actually going to make that black. You guys do not have to, but it's just something I wanted to change right now. Um, the hair color is black. And um, these are for the ties in her hair right there, the two ties on the back. Um, I don't believe, no, she's not wearing any face paint or makeup, okay, I didn't think so. And the eye color, like I said, you can mess around with that. I do not know. I'm probably going to make them brown, but I'm not sure. And let's get into it. Let's see. The head equipment. And this is the um, general's equipment in the front. And this is the skirt. I, I don't know why I'm being Captain Obvious. <laughs> this is the underside. And this should be the Wessex. <laughs> the Wessex. And the leather armlets. Oh god, there we go. And this is... Oops, I thought I heard something behind me. That was kind of weird. Okay, these are the boots. And the gold trim. Well, that was really weird. I thought I heard something behind me. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of startled. It's 4.50 in the morning and I'm hearing stuff. Maybe I should go to bed after this. Okay. Uh, goggle colors. Sorry, get a good view of that. And this is for the uh, thing down here. The... I don't even know what to call this. 
I don't even know what it's originally called. Feathers of Strength or something. Alright, here are the stickers on the uh, skin parts. As you noticed, her... Uh, oh my gosh, what are they called? Her armlets, they have like two... There's like two armlets on her arms in the picture. And of course, I don't have any kind of type of gloves that do this, that look normal, like these leather armlets. So I just did it all ghetto and made stickers of it. So I used the Chinese character number 95, which is the best Chinese character ever with doing stuff like this. The color, I try to get as good as I can. And left arm, here are the uh, ticks for it. And it's the same exact thing on the right arm, just... You know, on the right arm, <laughs> it's the same thing, almost. And I believe that's all the stickers I put on her. Nope, I'm wrong. I forgot about the boots. These um, boots, if you do the main color, it'll all be white, even the top part. The top part are actually stickers that I put on to make the gold trim, because in the cart she does have gold trim on top of her boots. So, I use motif number three. Left leg, placed by axis, here are all the ticks. And the color for them is standard light sworn color. Same thing with the left side, standard light sworn color, or right leg, uh, standard light sworn color. Same stats and everything. And that's that. And um, her weapon I made all gold because I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I can't even remember now. I, I'm pretty sure it was all gold. And her weapon trail I just made gold too because I could, because I can, whatever. <laughs> so that's Aaron for you. Next is on our list is Garoth. Or Gareth, or Garoth, or however you all say that. Um, first time I made Gareth, I messed up on him. I made his skin very darker than what it should be. I don't know why I thought his skin was almost as dark as Aaron's. I have no idea, but I fixed that, so he's not that dark anymore. <laughs> so let's get into it. The body, height number four. And you're gonna think I'm crazy, but I put th his thighs, like, really freaking huge. Because in his card, he has those side, like, uh armor things that make his thighs like really look really huge and I was like dang I want to get that look but I don't have anything like that in my arsenal of creativity so I just made his thighs really big and it plays look off well it looks like it you know but you don't have to make his thighs that big you could just like say hey man tone down the Krabby Patties they're all gonna go to your thighs and just make his thighs normal but that's just how I did it and I like it so I'm keeping it muscle mass number three because he does have his abs showing and he needs to show off his abs the face I did number seven Ancient Braids, which I think you have to unlock. I don't think these are default. I don't like the things in the back, but it's the only Gareth-looking hair. If you look at him from the front, he looks like Gareth, but it's like, dude, when you start braiding your hair? But you never know. I mean, he could have braids in his hair in the car. We just don't know. And eyebrows, number 10. Uh, voice, I did the same thing as Arcus. I don't even know why, uh, but I uh, deepened the pitch and tone, so it's a little bit deeper. Equipment. We're going to go scroll all the way down to upper body covering, which is the Sea Mail, or Sea King Mail. And that, my friends, is a Cervantes DLC costume that you need to go buy if you want this. I recommend this one, especially because it is the only one that looks like it was made for Gareth. It was. So, unfortunately, um, I don't think there's anything else that can replace it to make it look anywhere close to this. I would just go buy it. Only thing I don't like is that leather strap right in the middle there. I do not like that at all. But, like I said, beggars cannot be choosers. So, underneath we have the leather pants, like the same thing as Jane's. You can't see them, but he wears it. Warthog Fold, because it's the best looking thing, and I did not want to do another warrior's belt like Jane. So I kind of strayed away from that. I don't want him to look the same, almost. Um, for the armor comb, I did Vagrant's Coat. And, to be honest, the first time I did, um, Gareth, I think I used the silver gauntlets, or I used iron gauntlets, I used one of them, and I noticed in the card that he has this little tiny thing of skin showing between his arms and the shoulder, uh, pauldron, so I was like, wait a minute, like, this whole time I've been wrong, like, he has skin showing, so his arms are showing in the picture, it looks like, so I just put, slap these things on, and his hands are supposed to be showing, not covered up, so, best thing I could find. Uh, Warlord's Pauldrons, heart, my favorite. Love these things. I don't even think I need to go over them anymore. I think this is the last Light Sworn that had them. Yeah, because the other two are females. Okay. Um, Lord's Greaves for the feet equipment, which I was going to use for Jane, but like I said, I wanted them for Gareth. I don't like them because they're only one color, which you can see, and I kind of wanted the trims to be gold, but I unfortunately cannot put a sticker on them, which I don't understand, but 
it is what it is. Uh, for the middle, he does wear this kind of like, he has this kind of plate on his belt, and without this, it kind of looks like, here, I'll show you, it kind of looks plain. So I slapped a Centurion's uh, plume on there, and just put it on there, on his hips. Here are all the uh, axis numbers for them. It takes the attention away from being plain like that. Um, same thing up here, he does have these kind of like, it's kind of like almost like Jane a little bit. He has this weird cylinder-like things up above his chest, right below his chin. So I slapped some Feathers Angels on there, and oh my gosh, he looks very intimidating. But um, <laughs> I slapped some Feathers Angels on there and uh, just put them there on his chest to make it look not so boring and plain. Like I said, I totally redid these guys. Like, he never had this before. Gareth never had that. He never had this down here. Never had any of that. I tried to make them as best as I could to the detail. Uh, weapon style, I used Hilda because... In his picture, he does some have some kind of axe thing, and that's what this is. This is some kind of... Okay, well, you really can't see it because... Okay, there you go. It's some kind of axe thing. I didn't like the flag that I put on originally because it just kind of killed it, and he does not have a flag on his weapon. So, it is the master of Hilda's weapon pack and angel pack because Lightsworn. Now, for the colors, I, I originally did him darker, like I said, so I brightened him up a little bit, and this is the skin color I used for him. Hair color kind of almost like Celestia but a little bit darker and I just made the little things back here the same color so it won't take attention away and be like what are those braids doing there um I don't think I used any face paint nope eyebrow color he does have bluish eyebrows that's all I can make out from the card so I stuck with that eye color I just used blue because why not blue eyebrows blue hair why not <laughs> and default white now for the equipment this is for the Sea King male Oh yeah, another thing, I don't like this little thing back here, but we don't know if he has that or not, so... Let's just say he does, it makes him look more BA. And I try to get this to an almost skin color, I guess, so you won't notice it. <laughs> I don't know. And this is for the pants underneath, I... It really, you can't really see them that well, so... Yes, I zoomed in on his crotch. <laughs> you can't really see the, uh, colors that well. This is for the, uh, falls. Or the hip equipment. It's mostly going to be your standard, like, lights worn colors, and this is for the bracers. And for the Warlord Pauldrons, I don't even know if I have to even, like, do these anymore, because you should probably all know what the color should be for these guys by now. I love these pauldrons. I don't even know where I locked them, but I love them. Alright, so like I said, the Greaves down here only have one color thing. I don't like it. Bothers me. That's just all white down there. Centurion Plume. It only has one color scheme too. It can only change the feathers colors, not the silver band in the middle right there. Which is okay with me because I want it to be like white anyway. Feathers of Strength colors. Um, and that's it. I have one sticker on him. I don't even know where that sticker's at. Oh yeah, it's on his forehead. I was like, wait a minute, where did I put that sticker at? It's on his forehead. In his picture, he has some kind of gold circlets lining his hair and forehead where they meet. Um, I didn't want to throw another circlet on him because it's not in the middle of his forehead. It's like right on his hairline. So I just threw a little sticker there, the little Chinese character number 95. I love that little thing. I just threw that on there and I made it an olive color because if I made it the standard 1010 light worn color, it doesn't show up that well, so... It's not the best, but it works, you know, it, it it makes me feel happy, so let's just do it. And here are the, um, axis points for them. And that's the only sticker I threw on. Now for the weapon trail, I just did blue because his hair and his eyebrows and his eyes. So I said, why not? Let's do blue. So that's that. Um, and that's Gareth for you. Next up, we have Lila, which I changed a lot from her previous, um, version and she was really fun to make too. Um, so let me give you a quick 360 of her. As you can tell, there's some things that have changed about her, like the stickers on her sides. I don't know why I threw flames on there. It looks so ridiculous. I don't know. I don't even know why I did. I think I was just in a rush to get a video up. I have no idea. But um, height is three. 
everything is normal static except the muscle mass that is on zero. The face, number four. I think I used a different face for her. I think I used number one or two, I think. But I put it back to number four because, I don't know, I wanted it to be more menacing, you know. Uh, hair is the long type. Eyebrows, number nine. And the voice is cynical with a pitch of positive five. You can change the voice if you want because I, I don't think, like, I feel that some people don't think that should be her voice, but I thought it, so I said, you know what, let's do it. Alright, so the equipments. You want the underbody, or upper body, I'm sorry, excuse me, to be the linen shirt. And you want the long skirt on. Dancer's belt. Lord's mantle, just like Jane. Adept sleeves. Um, um, Absolution Solia, which you cannot see that well, and you could probably use something else, but they are a costume DLC. They come from Elysium, her first costume. This is where they come from. I thought she. I thought Lila was kind of more of a sandal kind of girl, and I was going to let her have the Lily Greaves, but I gave that to Lumina. I'm. You could probably put gladiator boots on her and it'll still look normal because you can't see her feet either and if you do not want to buy this DLC costume pack you do not have to. I'm not trying to force you guys to. I'm pretty sure you can use something else but I just thought like the Absolution Solia was like the best one I guess. Um, now for the head equipment or that uh, thing she wears on her head. I used the butterfly antennas. It was the easiest thing I could get. I tried using the horns and it did not work. So I used the butterfly antennas. Here are the stats for them. And Feathers of Strength again, because that is like my Lightsworn thing. And as you notice, I did not have this on my previous Lila. And she does have it on her now in this one. Because on the picture, she does have the same thing that Aaron has going on a little bit. So, I threw that on there. My previous Lila did not have this. So that's all the stats for that. And I have a pure ring. It's supposed to be the necklace she wears, and it's a little too bright. I think I might dim it down a little bit because you can see it through her freaking hair. But, um... Oh, excuse me. But, um... Oh, well, I keep hearing stuff again. Okay, so I'm sorry. Excuse me. Uh, anyways, about the pure ring. Um, so... I'm probably gonna dim it down a little bit. She does wear a necklace, but unfortunately, since I have the Lord's Mantle, it takes up my necklace. I spot, I guess, or or space, so I just threw the pure ring on her. Um, I wish she kind of had that anklet thing, like the uh, male characters do, but she does not. Females do not get that, which kind of sucks. But here are the axis numbers for them. Sorry if I keep rambling on about stuff. I'm trying to get this done. It's like an hour long. Weapon style is Alpha Patroclus because it's the only thing that looks like a staff magey kind of thing. I don't know. And I use the Hidden Fang one because. I wanted something on top to be a different color, and that was the closest thing. <laughs> Angel pack because lights worn. And oops, skin color. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, undergarment color. I don't even know why I show you. It's pretty much the default. You're never gonna see them unless their clothes break. Hair color is the all uh, black. Uh, face paint. I use face paint number one. I don't know, just to give them some kind of makeup, I guess. I doubt, like, she really wears makeup in the picture, but you never know. Eyebrow color. And the eye color. In the uh, in the picture, the, uh, Lila picture for, you know, Lightsworn's Yu-Gi-Oh card, she does have a faint red tint of red in her eyes. I think, she, I believe she does have red eyes because... It's very noticeable, and I noticed it the first time. I never put it on my original Lila because I never noticed it back then when I made her. So I put it on her. I could be wrong. It could not be red, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it is red by looking at the picture closely. Alright, and this is for the uh, linen shirt. For the dress. And the belt, and I did add this belt on. I don't think I had it on my old Lila, but I had the belt on just to give it some kind of like, um, gosh, what I, I don't even know what I want to say. Just to give it some kind of like attention to, you know, I mean, like give it some kind of attention to the waist, like a detail kind of thing, I guess. And this is for the Lord's mantle, by the way. And yes, the button is blue because that diamond right there is a sticker, and there is some kind of blue patch thing. Right where her uh, cape 
draws close, so I just put a little blue diamond there. You know, anything that works. And these are the uh, sleeves. Down here we got the uh, shoes. Sorry for this it took so long for you guys. I did not mean for this to take so long. But it is what oops. I keep like going back out. Okay, this is for the butterfly antennas. But anyways, I apologize if this video well this video is over an hour long and I'm very sorry about that. I do not mean for this video to be so long like that. This is for the feathers of strength. I just want to cover every single thing so people like so I can help people make a Lila of their own. This is for the pure ring. I used an olivey color, and it's still a bright gold. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Uh, stickers I used right on here, up on her chest, the motif number 12, because she does wear some kind of necklace, but unfortunately... Or not necklace, but some kind of... Uh, I don't even know what... Something on her uh, shirt. Something gold-plated. And I do not have any more specialized equipment to do that, so here are the colors for it. It's upper body, placed by axis. Here are the ticks for it. And just the same thing with Arcus. She has like the three circles going on her sides, like almost like it's exactly the same as Arcus's. I don't, I don't know why, but yeah, <laughs> uh, same three circles. I can only fit two though. Um, same color as Arcus's. Same motif, number twenty-one. Hip area placed by axis. Here are all the ticks for it. And like I said, it's the same for all of them. The colors are all the same. But I can show you the ticks. Um, like I said, you're just going to have to, like, I had to really pay attention on how they looked and symmetrical, like, get them up symmetry and everything. But as you can see, they're very symmetrical right now. But when she, like, when she goes into a relaxed mode, like, right now, they look unsymmetrical. But they are because she's kind of leaning on her one leg. So that's why it looks like that. Um, and then, like I, like I mentioned before, here's the diamond that goes right on her, uh, cape area. I just made that blue. I said entire body. Placed by axis and all the stats right here. Oops. That's that. I believe that's the only sticker. Yep, that's the last sticker. The weapon, I did the base as a gold. And the sword as part as white. And on the card, the top and bottom have a faint blue to them. I guess because she's a sorcerer, so I just put them as blue. And I did her trail as blue because why not? <laughs> So that is Lila right there for you. And the last light sworn on our list is Lumina. Probably one of my favorites. Because <laughs> of her baller effect. Okay, so this is Lumina. As you can tell, she's greatly improved from my last um, creation of Lumina. She has a few things that are different that you haven't seen on her before, but I'll give you a quick 360. And let's go over the body. Height number three. Everything is the default negative 12 type, except the muscle mass that is zero. Face is number 10. And I'll explain the leaf later. <laughs> Short bob cut for the haircut. Eyebrows number 14. Veteran knight. Positive pitch of 10 for the voice. And it's the same as Celestia's, but I just made it a little bit like not as high pitch as Celestia. So equipment parts, sleeve this top, as you can see right there. It's kind of to hide everything, the chiton, or chiton for the top. When I first originally made Lumina, I made that thing bright as anything. Like, it was brighter than her dress, and it did not look right. So this time I dimmed it down a little bit, and you'll see in the coloration section. I used hip skirt for um, her lower part i wish the bottoms right here that i could put a sticker on because i wanted to make them gold like in the picture like the little um fringes or whatever but it wouldn't let me do it i can't put stickers on this which really sucks and we have the west sec necklace again <laughs> silk gloves and before when i made her i had different gloves on i had like the lily greaves i think like i think i had these lily armlets armlets yeah i did not know that she wore gloves with like a um lacy kind of end, end to it until I looked at the trap card Glorious Illusion and I saw it and I was like what? This whole time my life has been a lie. I always thought she wore like like these kind of things right here. Lily armlets. That's what I thought because she does have the upper cuffs and that's where the ghetto brown comes in like I did for Aaron. But um 
Yeah, she wears like these uh, laced end gloves. I never have known that because her card, she does those um, summoner spell circles and I can never see her gloves back there. But now that I really focus, you can see them now. But anyways, getting into it, here are the shoes, the Lily Greaves. In my old um, version of Light Swords, I gave both Lila and Lumina Lily Greaves. I don't know why I did that, but that's why I gave Lila the Absolution whatever it's called this absolution solia and i gave lumina i kept her with the lily greave still because i do not know what her feet look like and i don't know i don't know what her shoes look like and i thought it was the best thing i like them both with a sandal kind of look so and on top of her head i gave her bridal tiara because she does have some kind of tiara on her head and i gave her the bat wings for the effect of um the back of her like i don't know what those things would be called like they're off of her clothing but those uh fringed like cloth pieces that scarf looking thing that's why i put the bat wings on to make it to give it that effect and as for the leaf um the leaf is for the front of her hair because in the picture she has like it all in the front her bangs they're not separated by that so i could not live with the separation that it had right there like i'll show you i could not live with that so i just put a little leaf there it's hard to notice when you're in battle but right now as you guys can see you can close up and see and you'll be like oh that's a leaf right there because you guys know but in battle it's very hard to notice that and it blends in so well so let me go over the bridal tiara where that's at i almost skipped in over that entirely until i just remembered that like oh crap i gotta show you guys here's all the access numbers for the bridal tiara the bat wings goes on the chest area and the leaf the little tiny leaf you can, um, I guess you could do a different way to do the front bangs. I mean, you don't have to do it this way. This is just the only way I liked it, so I just did it this way. Uh, weapon and style is Viola because she, uh, in her picture, she does have the pink circles like that. So I thought, like, wow, this would be perfect, actually. And I just used the first one, Quarter Orbis, because I did not want to change the color of it. And Angel Pack because Light's Morn. All right, so the colors, she is a little bit dark. She's not entirely white. She is a little bit dark. She's kind of, like, maybe a few shades lighter than Aaron. Um, undergarment colors, as you can see her shorts right there, I put them as white because you can see her shorts. Hair color, she is a blonde, so I did the best blonde I could find. The best blonde I could find. Uh, I did give her face paint one, just like I did for Celestia and uh, Lumina, I mean Lila. And here are the colors for that. I made her lips a little bit darker though than Lila's. Eyebrow color. And eye color. Uh, she's a blonde, so I just gave her blue eyes. Like, all my light swords have blue eyes, I think. <laughs> um, equipment color. This is for the undergarments underneath of her. So that's that. My dog keeps making noises. It makes me turn around. Okay. Like like I said, last time, I had um, this thing all the way up like this. And look at that. That's really bad. That doesn't even look close to the dress. So I had to dim it down to this level. And it looks almost perfect. I like it now. It doesn't look too bright. I don't know why I put it so bright like that. But here are some more colorations. That's a little tie, little snap thing right there. I have no idea what this color is, so I just made it gold. I think it's supposed to be the bottom, but I'm not sure. And here is the dress. The lower part. And this is the inside of the dress right here. Like, that's the inside right there. Okay. Um, this is the necklace up here. Gosh, I hate having to go back around. Like, oh, gotta go up now, gotta go down, gotta go up. <laughs> this is all part of the necklace. I'm trying to really hurry this up because I don't want to waste any more of your guys' time. Um, this is the gloves, or these are the gloves. This is the color for the gloves. And this is for the, uh shoes they're only one color you cannot change like anything else i guess you could put stickers on i don't know if you can put stickers on them or not but yeah that's for the shoes down there um color for the tiara i would actually make it a little bit darker than this because it blends in with her hair and it's not really supposed to it's supposed to be more like a brown so i would just make it like maybe this color 1024 it's probably what i'm gonna do actually right now while i'm with you guys we can all do it together so yeah, I would definitely make this 1024. That seems about right. I would make all the color blocks 1024. Oops. Because it looks weird when it's blended with her hair. Okay, that looks way better than before. Okay, so 1024, everybody. 
10 4, 10 24. Okay, now this is for the this is the bat wings back here, or the um, car, uh, scarf. Cough, cough. And this is for the inside of it. If you couldn't see that, that was for the inside. And this is for the trim. It's just all that natural white. And what is this for? I don't. Oh, yeah, the leaf. I was like, wait a minute, where is the hell the equipment at? And this is for the leaf. Try to match as best as I could with her hair color. Alright, for the stickers, did the same thing as we did for Aaron. Chinese number 95. Brown. This kind of brown. Left arm, and you're the ticks for it. Kind of the same thing I did with Aaron because they both have those double cuff thing going on, so. This is what I did for both of the arms. It's almost the same. Just symmetry, people. Um. And this is for the undergarments, because if you notice in, the, in her picture, she does have this kind of, like, strand, gold strand going through her undergarment area, it looks like. So I decided to throw one of the Motif 21s on there, the famous ones. I made it the this color. Upper body placed by axis, and here are all the ticks for it. So it looks like it should be going around, and it should cross the back. Or no, that's the front, I'm sorry. Um, the undergarment part. It should just go around the middle like that, underneath. And this is the um, actual body, upper body part. So here's that. And that. Upper body. Here's all the ticks for it. And it should be that gold strand right there. And it'll come right behind her like that. Because she does have a gold strand in the middle above the chain right there on her waist from the dress. And that's another reason why I chose that dress. And she does have some kind of little mini diamond on her chest, like some kind of little, oops, some kind of little thing on her chest, so I just put a little diamond in there. And I'll show you the, um, ticks for it. It shouldn't be that hard to do, I mean, all you just, all you gotta do is just really work with, like, symmetry and all that. And I think that's all the stickers I put on. And the weapon trail, I just did red because, I don't know, I just did red. I'm probably gonna put it to pink because, I don't know, she seems more like a pink kind of person, so I'm gonna change that while I'm here. So yeah, that's Lumina for you. Um, and that's all my lights warns. I'm sorry that this took over an hour. I might make annotations to skip to the next character. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial creation of my lights warns. I'm possibly going to try to make the newest Lights ones that are coming out, Minerva and Raiden. That's why there are two slots open right here. Um, Minerva, I tried making her ones, and oh my gosh, that is like damn near impossible to do that. She's so hard to make. Like the whole one glove going on, and I'm like, oh my gosh. So, um, I hope you guys like my new and improved Lights ones better than the originals, I think. I think it did a damn well good job remaking these guys. I really love them to death. Uh, if you have any questions or need me to explain something that I, I guess I did not explain clearly in this hour-long extravaganza, feel free to PM me, and I hope you guys really enjoy this, and I will see you guys later.